today. Welcome back to another networking with Nico Isle. It's your boy, Nico. How are you doing today? Today is a very good day. Why? Because we're going to talk some more about questions and answers. I'm going to answer all your questions. So definitely stay tuned. If y'all haven't already, make sure y'all hit that like button for me. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys hit that bell so you're notif notified of all my latest um, all my latest content. That was a little boss, but I will get a point. So we ain't even gonna scratch it out. We just gonna keep proceeding. You check. All right. So first question, right? This is basically adulthood. Basically, that's that's gonna be the title. Adult life or adult questions. Basically, I will get a point. So first question: When did you know you wanted to transition? So, um, I don't know why I put this in this topic because I feel like this should have been something I answered before. But really and truly. I learned about transgender recently more than I did a couple years ago. So like about three years ago, I learned about transgender and I really didn't understand it. And I didn't know that you could like, you could transition, like turn into a guy, like literally successfully, like all you got to do is take tea, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, I learned and I did a lot more research and when I decided would be about two or three years ago, but when I successfully did it is a different thing. So, um, I always knew I wanted to be a man. I always knew that I wanted to live as a man. Um, I just didn't know it was really possible. And that's the honest truth. Now that I know, and I was able to do research and actually take the time and care about what I really wanted and not what everybody else wanted me to be. Um, that's when I successfully figured out like, Hey, I want to be a trans man and this is what I want to do with my life. You check. So yeah. Um, the next question. How did you know you didn't want to be a girl? Okay, boom. I answer this question. Um, growing up, I knew I was not in the right body. Um, a lot of people say it's a mental issue. Um, no, I'm not mentally ill, guys. Um, I know what I want, just like you know what you want. And I don't want to be a female, period. Um, have you ever dated a guy? I answered this before, but I mean, I can answer it again. No, I have never dated a guy from youth all the way up until age 24 which i am now i have never dated a guy and i will never date a guy no offense guys out here i know a lot of y'all be in my inbox which i wouldn't say i'm surprised that y'all are in my inbox because y'all have always been in my inbox you know always had guys in my inbox which never made sense to me but you know i see y'all and y'all cool people and you could be my bro but that's about it you feel me all right cool um, when did you decide on your transition? So I successfully decided on my transition February 26th or 25th of 2020. So February of 2020 is when I decided on my transition. I was like, listen, doctor, I'm ready for my tea shot. And what did I do? Went in there and got my tea shot, you know? Yeah. So yeah, that was when I decided. Um, who helped you start your transition? So to be honest, um, I reached out to some trans men. I'm not going to call their names because they didn't help me. Um, a lot of the trans men out here that I reached out to, <clears throat> they, uh, they were holding the information like it was the Krusty Krab secret formula or something. Um, you know, the, the little bottle that spongebob be trying to figure out and plankton be trying to steal um becoming a trans man is not top secret um i just never understood why they didn't want to help me out you know or tell me so there's that but uh yeah mm. yeah no no one helped me um I would say my doctor, you know, shout out to my doctor and my therapist out here, you know, y'all the real MVPs out here to help me get this far, thus far, whatever y'all want to call it. Um, really and truly, no one should help you start your transition, to be honest with y'all. Um, I feel like you got to take that initiative to take that step forward, to figure out what you need to do to start your transition and to get to where you want to be. I am a great resource to help you get to where you want to be and know who to contact but i can't tell you who you can be if you understand what i'm saying y'all like 
I can guide you to the right resources, but I can't tell you who you are on the inside. You got to come to that conclusion yourself. All right, boom. Why transition? Why not be a girl and date girls? Now, you feel me? I feel this question. Now, my thing is, I was never a girl. You see what I'm saying? You feel me? You said, why not be a girl and date girls? But I was never a girl. You check? I was a dude the whole time. You, you feel what I'm saying out here? I, you're like, I was never a girl. So, I can't be a girl and date a girl because I was never a girl. You see that, man? You see how I did that? So, I check what you're saying. Like, I, I, I get it. Like, why not just be who I am and date woman, you know? Be a lesbian. That's not me. I'm a trans man. Transgender male. Female to male. You check? So, why transition? I want to be a man. I want to be a guy. That's why I transition. And why not be a girl and date girls? Is because I was never a girl that was dating girls. I was a stud which by definition as far as i'm concerned which it has many definitions but as far as i know a stud is a man look-alike but a female version you can correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but that's what i thought it was and it's basically a masculine female so i've always been masculine i want to be a man there's some studs out there that don't want to be a man they like being a woman so kudos to them you know i'm no hate on them but that's just not me. I, I want to take it a step further. I want to go further and be the man that I'm supposed to be. You feel me? I got your back, y'all. If y'all want to do it, y'all ready, let me know. Hit me up on that Facebook and that IG. I, I got you. Next question. What does transitioning and transgender mean to you? All right. So you mean like the definition or like what it mean to me personally? Because, I mean, you can look up the definition on Google. I I'll point you to Google, I'm gonna put it up here, and then you put it in the search bar and figure that out. Cause mm, this ain't no Webster dictionary out here, people. Anyway, uh, what does it mean to me? Um, transitioning, it means that I'm becoming the person that I've always been, and it's more physical. So you guys are seeing the person that I've always felt I was on the inside. But you guys are seeing it physically on the outside now, because I'm actually doing the transition, you feel me? Um, and being transgender just means that I'm changing from one sex to another. So I was a female and now I'm going to be a guy, basically. Just the basics, guys. Just the basics. Um, has anyone deterred you from being or becoming your true self? So yes and no. In the beginning, uh, two years ago, I was deterred by my past relationships due to the fact that they probably really didn't understand what I was trying to say or what I meant by me becoming a guy or cutting off my breast. I don't really know. I never really took the time to sit down and actually talk to any of my past relationships really about being serious about my transition. So I can't really say that someone's deterred me, but I was kind of deterred in those relationships because it was like, no, I want to be with you and who you are now. But it didn't really make sense to me because like when I think about it, I was always a guy. So like, I don't really know. I was just a guy with breasts and stuff you know like i don't really know y'all but i would say no and yes to that answer um into that question um but i've always been true to me so i've always been masculine i've always been who i am you know you know what i mean i know what i mean um have you always known you wanted to be a boy for sure like no questions asked i've always known i wanted to be a boy i used to get hype when i used to have like little chest hairs and little beard hairs grow and now i actually got a beard y'all like i'm actually out here living this life like i'm a whole <laughs> probably can't say that damn i'm gonna have to censor that so yeah whoopsies <laughs> but anyway yes i always wanted to be a boy and i always knew i wanted to be a boy um would being a guy make you feel like your true self? For sure. Like, that's the goal. We transitioning from female to male. And to be honest with y'all, I have to say, this transition has been amazing. Because there's a lot of guys out here, right? That really think I'm a guy out here. Like, you know, I'm out here. Like, we pass it, bro. Like, we out here passing as a guy. Um, The reason I said that is because something happened the other day where um this guy was like, why are you transitioning? 
because I said I had bottom surgery. So he was like, why are you transitioning? It's going to raise my taxes or some some BS like that. I don't know what it was. But I was like, what do you mean? Why am I transitioning? He was like, well, if you want to be a girl, just be a girl. But you don't have to go get surgery. I look like, <laughs> you think I'm trying to change it to a girl, playboy? I was a girl, sir. But I ain't had to go all into that. I just, I just laughed at the message. Because first of all, he said his taxes was going to go up if I went and did bottom surgery. Like, I ain't know you was paying for it, partner. But yeah. So anyway, I said all that to say that I'm passing and it's and it's showing because people think I'm about to turn into a girl and the whole time I was a girl before. Anyway, next question and final question. When did this when did you decide you wanted to have top and bottom surgery? Um I wanna say I decided top surgery goddamn when I had back issues, to be honest. Um, growing up, I always had back issues because of the size of my breasts. So I always wanted to get my breasts removed. Like, always wanted to get my breasts removed, to be honest with y'all. Um, that wasn't something I thought hard about. I was, Take them. I don't want them. What you want to do with it? Throw it away. Go for it. I don't want my boobs. I, yikes. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Um, bottom surgery was new. Um, I didn't know of the different types of bottom surgery, um, but I did know that I wanted a specific type of bottom surgery and the specifics was for me to be able to pee standing up, which if you guys seen some of my videos, I've talked about that. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. I've, I've, I've never really thought of the bottom surgery until recently, but of course you go big or go home. You're doing this transition. You better do it all the way and you better do it to a T, sir. That's how I talk to myself, y'all. So, um, not crazy, but yeah, like. Yeah, top and bottom surgery is a go, for sure. So anyway, if y'all haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button for me. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for me. And make sure you guys hit that bell so you're notified of all my latest videos. I have some videos in my description below. I also have my social media in my description below. I don't know if y'all know that, but I'll definitely put it up here, what my social medias are. And definitely hit that follow on all my social medias, man. I'm here. If y'all need someone to talk to or if you guys have more questions, don't be afraid to ask. I'm on every platform including tiktok who knew i would be there and i would be doing the things i do but anyway i'm glad you guys are enjoying the content and there's more to come so i'll see y'all later on another networking with nico Ayo. later Some shit I iced out on my juice. show me what you do do show me what you do do show me what you do